same regular. I think that if the one person is stronger than the other knows how to bring the other one better for either one. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Vanessa. If you guys are new here, welcome. Today is another video I'm doing a makeup look, just an everyday makeup look. Something that I like to do when I want to put makeup on. It is so nice out today, by the way. I'm like in my room and looking outside, it feels like spring. Like it's cold out, but from the inside, it looks nice. Um, but I am just going to show you guys my makeup looks. I hope you enjoy. So the first thing I like to do is prep my skin. I like the, I don't even know how to say it, C Cartier um, mist. I am super big into like hydration and um, just like making your skin look real and natural and dewy. So that's just like what the vibe I'm going for. Um, so I usually start with some concealer. This is my Tarte Shape Tape. I'm just going to take this. I've used this for such a long time. I'm like obsessed with it. I love it. Um, so I'm going to just put that under my eyes. A little bit on my nose. And then I also mix it in with the Quesos. This is a concealer I've used for a couple months now. And I really like it. This one's a little bit darker, so I kind of just mix the two so that it makes a nice color. And then I go in with a beauty blender. Sometimes I'll go in with a concealer brush, the Rare Beauty one, but um, it kind of just depends. I'll take this and um, just depends on like my mood. Now that that is blended, I'm going to go in with my translucent powder I kind of look crazy which is over here <gasps> okay so I go in with the Laura Mercier translucent powder and also I've been really into this Dior foundation I didn't put foundation on because I just like don't wear it every single day so that's why I wanted to be realistic and be as realistic as I am so um I don't use this every day but if I do I use this one and it's so good I'm literally like obsessed with it satiny finish what the heck was that satiny finish um okay so I'm just gonna go in with the powder underneath a good way to keep your skin really hydrated is by drinking a ton of water and reapplying your sunscreen um your sunscreen really helps with like the elasticity in your skin um and I always use a glow one. I like the glow one by Super Goop. And I put it in my purse and I just like reapply it some days when my skin's feeling a little bit like dry. Because it just helps with the moisture. And then I drink a ton of water um, every single day. So that always helps internally with your skin. Now that that's all done, I'm going to go in with... Um, what am I going to do? Go in with some bronzer. I'm going to take my Well People bronzer and my Morphe bronzer in the shade Megastar. And I'm going to put that around my face and just really like warm up my cheeks. I like to go in upward motions so that it gives me like a um, different like effect. The perimeter of my forehead and then I take some under my jaw for some reason like when I wear makeup though I feel like you can like tell it's like so strange people in high school used to say it like looked like I had makeup on even when I don't have makeup on um so I just feel like I have to be like or I just feel like I have to like not have a heavy hand because I feel like you can just like tell and it looks like I have so much on but like I really don't like I try my best not to put that much on and it still kind of looks like I do but I don't know it is what it is I guess I mean maybe you think this is a lot I mean it, maybe it is I don't know I'm not a makeup expert I just I also use the butter bronze
Um, and I'm just gonna go in with the butter bronze again and contour my um, nose a little bit. I really hope this isn't. Um, yeah, just going in with this and like putting a little bit on my nose. Um, I don't really know. There's two like two lines down the middle up my eyebrow. I don't, I don't really have like a strategy. <laughs> Just kind of like put it on my nose and I kind of make like a little V. I guess. And blend it with my finger. <laughs> I'm also gonna go back in with the translucent powder and put that right here. This helps with your jaw. I always do this. Um, I don't know why it helps, but it does. So put it there for a contouring effect. I love doing makeup because I feel like it's like art <laughs> I've always been like so into like drawing and like super creative since I was like little um I also I like won a weird weird art contest when I was in like second grade um it said peace was the world is the world smiling that's what I wrote <laughs> I don't know where I got that inspo but um you know kicking it at eight years old <laughs> um oh no my camera's gonna die Okay, so let's hurry this up. I put that on my chin. I just kind of let that sit there, I guess. And now I'm going to go with blush. I use the nudist shade in the Well People brand. And I just take a little on my finger and put some on my cheeks. Or if I could have one makeup um, thing for the rest of my life, it would be blush. And like, nope. Like, without even, like, a doubt. Like, it wouldn't be mascara, wouldn't be... Ah, uh, actually, it would either be blush or lipstick. But it would probably be blush because you could use that as lipstick. Like, lip gloss. Um, I put a little on my nose. But I'm, I love that, like, sunburnt look. And... That's why I like blush. So I put a little bit of that. And then I also go in with another one. This is the Milk Makeup. And it's a lip and cheek in the shade Perk. And I also take a little bit of that and put it on my cheeks, obviously. Now that we have blush on, I'm gonna go in under my eyes and brighten up my under eye. Um, I always like to do this. I don't know why. This keeps turning off. Stay on. Thank you. Okay, so I go in with this really old correct palette <laughs> it's from Lorac you can use any brightening powder and I take the latest color right there uh, and I just put it under my eyes and it gives me very highlighted effect if you can kind of tell it just like makes your eye look a little bright some people don't like to do this uh, it's just preference so you do you sis but I like to put this under my eyes Okay, so now I'm going to kind of like wipe this off a little bit and just dust it off. And this is bronzer, so I'm going to put a little bit on my jaw a little more so it blends a little bit better. And then I'm actually going to go in again with bronzer. I don't do my makeup in any order. Like, I swear I like just mix everything and then I like go in and then I go back like it's never the same each time it's so weird I know it's like nothing ever like organized that's what that's what I mean when I say like an art piece like I know it sounds so weird but like that's just like how my brain works so I'm very like little here a little there like it's not anything like I don't know the same every time it's just like whatever I think I need because we all have like different skin different like I don't know colors like if your roots grow in and they're darker you need to put on a little more bronzer in my opinion because like you look a little bit more washed out like that's how I think about makeup like I think of it as like um more of like something 
like a canvas and it's not if you're painting a different picture every single time it's it's just unlikely for it it's never gonna be the same like you're never gonna do the exact same makeup you did as you did last time you can try and mimic it but it won't be the same so that's just like my tip I guess on makeup but my camera died so now we're on my phone um, so I'm gonna go back in with bronzer and like I said just put it up on my cheeks and do you see how it all just kind of like comes together very nicely okay oh I'm sitting on my feet and they Whew, it like hurts so bad like all my weight is on my feet and it hurts okay um so now that i have the under eyes done you guys are gonna be like what's wrong with you i still don't really do makeup on my eyes every single day like if i'm being honest um but i guess i can like tell you what i'll do instead of showing you because i still have aaron's turn and i don't feel like putting it on but this broke so sad but i use the maybelline eye palette this is what i've been using recently and it's called the City Mini Palette, and it just has a lot of... I can't even open it because it's going to break. But it has this orangey shade, which I put usually on my crease. And then it has this really pretty um, pearly white that I put also on my crease. Um, and, like, just, like, all over my eye. And then it has this gold shade, which I put usually, like, in here. Um, and sometimes I go in with this, like, salmon-y pink depending on like where I'm going, what I'm wearing, what I'm doing, and I'll put that like on my like very ends of my eyes to give it a very like cat shaped look. But I have pretty um well I have pretty big eyes and round eyes so um sometimes I like to focus my eyeshadow here to make them a little bit more bigger. Um and then sometimes when I'm going out I'll do it like towards my eyelids to like give it a more eye effect so I'm just not gonna do it today because I don't wear it all the time so for eyebrows I've been really liking the Ulta Beauty brow tint this is just a really nice brow tint and I don't fill mine in because they're super thick already but I don't really need to but sometimes I do um so I've been really liking this because it gives it some because it gives it a little bit of color and I can also push them up for that like soap eyebrow effect and I've been really liking that recently so that's what I'm doing I'll show you guys the mascara that I would be wearing if I had some on it's just the Sally brand and it's the 101 one oops and it's really nice I like it a lot it doesn't leave it clumped or anything looks like this packaging so pretty and the wands like that and it just really helps get your lashes like big and voluptuous um every time i put mascara on i get it like everywhere because i have a ton of eyelashes so um that's why but i like this one i've been using that and then i also use the better than sex but sometimes that gets everywhere and then this one's really old that i have to get a new one the um lash paradise one from cvs now i'm gonna go in with highlighter i really love highlighter it makes your skin so pretty i've been really into the becca one so we're gonna put that on our cheeks just a little bit a little bit down the nose on the lip just kind of like blend it in Oh, my lip liner is downstairs and I don't feel like going to get it so I'm gonna show you guys the trick I will use if I don't have a lip liner this is just the Superstay Maybelline crayon and it's in the shade trust your gut 10 and so I will just overline my lips with this a little bit not too much because my lips are already pretty big, but there's little hairs everywhere. 
I just like to emphasize on like the Cupid's bow and a little bit under here and that's really really it sometimes I'll do like this but they just look really they just look like really big when I do that sometimes so I just stick with that and you can see that it gives it a nice little like I don't know plumping look um And I'm just going to put the lip gloss on from Victoria's Secret. I'll link it down below. I don't know the name, but it's like a pink. And I definitely don't line my lips every single day, but I just wanted to show you guys for like the sake of the video. And then I like to put like a shine on top. And... And then lastly, I will just spray my face with the MAC Fix Me Magic Radiance. This is like a really pretty, um, glowy, um, spray. And then I'll just take out my hair. I got a haircut. I chopped like five inches off my hair. <laughs> um, I needed it so bad. And yeah, I mean, it's a lot shorter than I thought, but I had short hair all through high school and I'm kind of into it, but I think I'm going to get extensions put into my hair just to see what they look like again. I just blow dried my hair and flipped it outwards, had my mom do it for me. <laughs> and yeah, this is my makeup look. I'll come up a little closer so you guys can see. Um, super glowy, bronzy. Yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup look and inspires you to put some makeup on. <laughs> I have nowhere to go. I just have some errands to run. Um, so that's all I'm doing today. I've been so into these clips. I think they're so cute. Just grab like a little section of your hair and um, wear it up like this. What is this doing? I look like a, I don't even know, like a mom. <laughs> Ow, my legs. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.